Now we are going to start with the stage three of colossal chart training. Stage three uses a reinforcement learning algorithm, which is the most complex part of the training process. And here we will be using two data sets, which is uh, the first one is the prompt data set. It is the instruction data set as mentioned in the above stages, which includes the instructions. For example, you can use the script we are providing here which samples from the JSON file we are using in the first two stages. And the pre-trained data set here, it is just the JSON file we are using in the first two stages without any changes. So now let's inspect the prop generating utility file, which is the generate from data set .py. And in this file, we will be using it to generate some samples and save it as a CSV format from the JSON file we have uh, using it, we have been using throughout the previous stages. As an illustration, we are here creating a sample of size 100 and save it in the samples.csv file here. After running it, we'll be getting to the actual training process. And here, the utility we're going to use is named train.prompt.sh, uh, which is a batch file. And then before uh, going into the batch file, we are going to inspect the Python file. And here, we're taking into arguments the two datasets we have mentioned above are the strategies. And there are here two models. The first model is the actor model. It actually comes from the first stage, the SFT model. So if you are saving it in a separate folder, please provide it in the pre-trained argument here. And the reward model, it comes from the second stage. And then there are many customizable arguments here to provide, such as the number of episodes and max time steps. For details, please refer to our repo. And the same as before, we are initializing the model, but this time we are treating it as actors and remote models or critics separately. And we have provided a simple utility of PPO trainer, which takes into all the arguments we have above into account. And then we use the trainer.fit. We also save the model automatically and optimizer states if user want. So now let's see the train prompt.sh file. Here we are using the pre-train model from the Hugging Face Transformers repository directly for a demonstration purpose. And then the prompt data set we generated just now and the pre-trained data set. The strategy we are gonna showcase is our zero stage two strategy. Please note that it's only a demonstration. In actual cases, you should replace this pre-train with the actual path you have um, saved your model into during stage one. Now let's run the code. So now we have finished training demonstration and here the rewards are not, um, should not be referenced because we are only using it for demonstration and we are training with very limited number of epochs. So thank you for watching. And we have now come to the end of the training of our closer chat. We have gone through the three stages. Thank you.